jump the start when that yellow flag goes down they can't start they have to wait till they actually have a visual on that green flag and right now that big fountain boat getting up to about 60 miles per hour still displaying that yellow flag and i, I can tell you i've held them those flags in the wind it's hard to hold those things up <laughs> well we also want to explain to people you know i've had people ask me well what do they do line all the boats up yeah. They line all the boats up to go off. Well, they try to. Great flag, great flag. We are going racing. Already taken off is that beautiful Steve Quick jeweler's boat. 32 foot uh, LA hull. Talbot right beside them, S29 and the Hulk. I can see them just on the right side of the screen as the boats are headed out to turn at number one. It was a clean start. I did not see anybody uh, uh, shotgun the start. They don't have much left, and when you're running into the wind, they have too much left. And then you, and then you gotta manage out. But you know, crosswind is also challenging too because if the wind blows the boat down on, on the side, then it's just where it's coming from. Now we have second start. Second start, super boat Bs. These are all these mono holes up to uh, 30 feet in length. They got those single 525 steel engines. And uh, these boats are so easily matched, so competitive. Out front of Dak Doc, Doc Jansen uh, is a superboat to uh, be like there. Snowy Mountain Brewery with that outer limits looking really good with the lead, but they're all the rest of them bunched up as we swing back now to pick up our third and final start of uh, this morning's race. There you see that big yellow fountain pace boat. The green flag is displayed and already second seven that's already six